if you want to do BTEC in bioinformatics. But wait, what is bioinformatics? Bioinformatics is a field where you can develop a software or you can develop a tool to study the whole biological data. Now to pursue this course, I'm going to tell you few trivial points, few intricacies that you have to go through to become a whole full-fledged bioinformatic engineer. So here we go. The course highlight, the level of this course to become BTEC or to become bioinformatic engineer is that the level of this course is graduation. The duration of this course is four years. The course type is degree and the eligibility course or the eligibility to pursue this course is 10 plus 2 that is 12th. Now to clearly tell you the eligibility criteria to pursue this course is that all the students must have at least passed their 10 plus 2 that is 12th exam with three main subjects that is physics, chemistry and biology with 50% minimum of 50% aggregate. Few students wants to go for a private job and few students wants to go in a government job. So first of all, let's talk about private job. The private job sector or the private job career after doing BTEC in bioinformatics is the first is medical coder. The second is clinical research associate. The third is research scholar. Fourth is Perl developer. Now mind you, it's P-E-R-L. Fifth is, you can become lecturer or professor if you love to interact with students. Sixth is, bioinformatics analyst. Seventh is, bioinformatics trainer. And students, last but not the least, you can become database designer. Students, the employment area sector the employment area private sector after doing BTEC informatics are the first is pharmaceutical companies, second research institutes, third hospitals and healthcare companies, fourth colleges, you can teach in colleges and last but not the least you can go in universities as well. The public sector employment area, if you are interested in looking for a job in a government sector, public sector, we have two options for you. The first is Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers, I repeat, Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers, including pharmaceuticals, and last is colleges. Now here is a very very important point, that is salary, the income, how much you get in bhai, kitna milega hume. So, I'm gonna tell you main main if you will be documentation or medical writing person then the minimum salary that you can get will be 1.9 lakh per annum and mind you guys it's a approx it's not a confirm it's a approx that you will get the maximum salary that you will get approx will be 13.2 lakh per annum now, if you are a clinical researcher, then the minimum approx salary will be 2 lakh per annum and it can go to 24 lakh per annum. If you are a lab technician, the minimum would be 1.2 lakh per annum and it can go up to 10.8 lakh per annum. If you are a molecular biology, molecular biology, then the minimum salary that you can get is 1.9 lakh per annum and it can go to 15.7 lakh per annum. Last but not the least, if you are a database designer, the minimum salary you can get is 2.5 lakh per annum and the maximum would be, approx would be 8.4 lakh per annum. The whole graph of INR, the salary, the graph is here. Now how many of you want to recruit yourself in a good top based companies. So today I'm going to tell you a few top recruiter companies that you can get after doing BTEC in bioinformatics. CIPLA, IBM, Biocon, Satyam, 
विप्रो जुबली एंड कैडिला एंड मेनी मोर